Hey everybody, this is Kevin D. Hawk from the Marvel Champions Monthly Fan Podcast Team. Today we're going to be going up against Expert Rhino with the Temporal Modular set with a She-Hulk Aggression Cheap Card deck. And you'll see what I mean when we get into the game. Um, the hardest thing about this is there's not a ton of thwart in She-Hulk Aggression, so we really struggle with these side schemes that make him build up pretty quickly, but hopefully we don't run into that problem here today. So we're trying to use Moment of Triumph to really set up the ideal sort of Gamma Slam. So you don't always need to Gamma Slam for a ton of damage. Um, and you could even do really cool things, like if there's a really wimpy minion out there, you can Gamma Slam for 14 and use Moment of Triumph to heal to like full health. So we can soak a bunch of attacks from Rhino without having to worry about it, because we'll use Moment of Triumph to heal back up, possibly with Gamma Slam, possibly with something else, we'll see. All right, there are no minions out, so I'm gonna get rid of, um, chase them down. I'm gonna get rid of Moment of Triumph for now, because I don't need that combo piece yet. I'm going to get rid of both 1-2 punches and really hope to draw into some double resources here. Um, not quite, but we did get some good things. So, split personality could be a cool move. But, we need to get some thwartiness out there. So we're going to pay 1-2-3 for Hellcat. First thing first. Um, we're probably going to save split personality for next turn. But we're going to flip, punch for 2. We're going to thwart, thwart, and get rid of break it and take him. That is, like, super important in a She-Hulk deck. If you can get rid of that turn one, you're sitting pretty happy, I think. Um, one damage on Hellcat. We're going to ready everybody up. I'm going to keep these other cards, because um, I don't need to get rid of them yet, and I'll draw one card. Okay. So Rhino's going to come swing in for three. Plus one, that's four damage. We've got one encounter card to deal with. It's a T-Rex with toughness. Why wouldn't it be? And that's that. All right. What do we want to do here with She-Hulk? I think the first thing we want to do is we want to play Split Personality. I would love to play all those cards that were in my hand, but don't really have a choice. That's going to let us flip here and draw six. Beautiful. Um, and then we can flip back and remove tough from this T-Rex. Kind of perfect, right? So now what we can do is we can pay one, two for a Hall of Heroes. We can swing for three on this T-Rex and then one, two punch to swing for three again. That'll kill the T-Rex and we can chase them down to remove a threat. We did just gain a glory counter. Hellcat's still here. We're gonna save her for thwarting and we're just gonna sit and uh, we didn't do much with that split personality, unfortunately. I guess we got a Hall of Heroes out. We killed a T-Rex, um, so it's not the end of the world, but would have liked to see more burst out of that. All right, he's going to get a threat. He's going to swing at us for three plus something. Um, we'll defend this one. So he's swinging for three plus two. That's five. So we will take one, two, three still. We've got one card here, which is an Ancient Warrior with Quick Strike. It is just minion galore today <sighs> let's see what we can do I mean we want that hollow heroes counter and we want it bad so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pay one well let's have Hellcat attack it for one she's still alive then we'll pay one two for ground stomp um, that'll hit the villain for one and kill this quick strike minion more importantly it'll give us a hollow heroes counter we're going to flip down um, to Jennifer Walters and ready everything up. I'm going to keep this Endurance because I need to get that on the board here, I think. So he gets one threat. He's going to scheme for one, and we will object that with our Jennifer Walters ability. We get one encounter card. It is an Assault, which surges into a Stampede, which surges into uh, Ivory Horn. All right. So that's one thing to watch out for in the, the She-Hulk deck against Rhino is if you go to Alter Ego form, Rhino tends to chain a lot of cards until he sees advance. So these attachments are really important to remove so that they stay in the deck and keep you afloat, I guess. All right. What do we want to do here now? I feel like we got to start setting up some combo pieces, um, but we could also get this Focused Rage, which would be really nice. Um, let's heal five. Let's uh, pay one, two, three for Focused Rage. Let's flip. Um, let's take a damage and draw a card. See what it is. Perfect. Let's play Hulk. Um, 
Yeah, that looks good to me. We're going to sit for a turn. And I know we're going to bounce Hellcat and use her to play Endurance, actually. That feels much better. Okay, drawn four. Let's see what happens here. He gets a threat. He comes swinging at us for four. Um, we do not have a counterattack out, unfortunately, so we are going to defend. Ah, uh, no, we won't defend this turn. Um, we'll just take it. Four, five. Cool, cool, cool. We are going to get one card here. And it's another <laughs> Quick Strike Ancient Warrior, my favorite. This is just beautiful. Um, beautifully annoying, that is. All right. Well, we'll get rid of that guy. Um, that'll give us a Hollow Heroes counter. We will not ready into anything here. We will pay... One, two, for a superhuman strength. Um, take a damage and draw a card. Probably should have paid for those in a different way, but I didn't. Um, but that's good. The, that, that gets these out of the way. I think that's okay. Um, I think we've got to stay in hero form for a turn. So we're going to ready everything up. Drawing two. Rhino's going to get a threat. He's going to come swinging for four, and we are going to defend this time. So it is four, five. Um, so we are taking three. And we are going to use counterattack to play. You'll pay for that. That lets us remove three threat from the scheme. His card is a stampede, so we're going to have to defend with Hulk here. So Hulk has taken four, five. That is a dead Hulk, but a useful one. And it's our go. We're going to have to flip down. Quite obviously. Um, before we flip, let's take a damage and draw a card. Perfect. That card lets us play Spider Girl. We'll flip. Spider Girl will thwart for one. Let's just get that to zero. And that's going to be that. We need to heal, and we need to heal like crazy. So let's draw five cards. Unfortunately, that decks us out. And we find out what's going to happen here. So he's going to get a threat. He is going to scheme for one, two, three. We'll object one of those. And we've got two nasty cards to deal with. So first, a Surgic Assault into a legal work. Um, I guess we're going to place an Acceleration token. The other one is a, oh, bummer. <laughs> Surge Exhaustion into a Charge. Wowzers. Um, well, that's really bad for us. There's not much we can do about that, um, but it's, it's, it's bad. It's not ideal. It's not ideal. We'll leave it at that. We do not have the Avengers trade on the side, so unfortunately we can't do any shenanigans there. Um, but let's, let's see what happens. We're going to draw three cards with Hall of Heroes. What we want to know is can we stay in Alter Ego form for one more turn, and it looks like we can. We're going to throw a... You'll pay for that down for a superhuman law division. We'll use a chase them down or a move to threat. Um, none of this other stuff is stuff I can pay. I'd really like to do a five, six, seven damage attack um, to heal a bunch with Moment of Triumph if we can get a minion out of the encounter deck here. Um, we'll see if we can make that happen. I'm going to toss away a couple things just to search for some better stuff okay so he's gonna get two threat we're gonna object one he's gonna scheme for one two and we've got one encounter card which is h tari soldier perfect we did get a uh, minion so that's kind of what we wanted here see what we can do with it because um, we also need to heal so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna uh heal five then we'll flip and deal two to this guy now you guys are going to see the mastery here. Um, we are going to Earth's Mightiest Heroes to ready She-Hulk. This is kind of overkill here. We are going to Skilled Strike, plus 2 attack, 7 attack onto the Chitari Soldier. So that is 6 excess damage. So we can play 2 copies of Moment of Triumph to heal 12. And we happen to have exactly... 18 as our threshold so we are healing all the way to full with that combo 
pretty spectacular, if you ask me. Um, we will use Hulk to play... Uh, let's, let's think about that. We might get to play Hulk, because we have a Focused Rage, take a damage, draw a card, don't forget about our Hall of Heroes counter. Um, what would we rather get out? What would we rather get out? I think we would rather get out a counterattack. We'll leave it at that. Um, we'll keep this Hulk in our hand. Bingo, bango, here we go. Draw on three more. All right, a split personality. So he's going to get two threat. He's going to come swing in for six, seven damage. And we're just going to take it to face. So seven, eight damage. That's brutal. But, bingo, bango, counterattack. Eight damage back into his face. And he loses charge. I feel good about that turn. That felt good. That felt great almost. Um, so our problem here now is we can't really... Well, we can, we can do some shenanigans here. Let's see how things go. So, um, he did his attack. We do still get an encounter card. That encounter card is a quick strike minion. Again. <laughs> All right, let's pay one, two, three for a split personality. We're going to flip and draw six. We didn't draw any mental resources to go with superhuman law division. That sucks. <laughs> That's like the worst thing that could have happened there. Um, let's see here. We can heal pretty high again, but Thwart is our problem right now. And we don't have a, a way to stop it. This is just brutal. Um, we're going to flip and deal two with this guy. Get rid of him. That's good. Get another Hall of Heroes counter. We're going to have to thwart one. And uh, I think we're going to Earth's Mightiest Heroes to thwart another one. So that brings us to six, five, four. Um, we got a lot of really good cards here, but they're not good, uh, well, I guess we can take a damage and draw a card first. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, is that really what I want to do? Play Tigra and not play a Focused Rage. I think we'll pay one, two, three for Focused Rage first. Take a damage and draw another card. Ooh, ooh, we almost got the combo there. Let's think here. We could take a damage. Um, Spider Girl and She Hulk could take her out. We need to get readied. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I think our better bet is to play Tigra and thwart for one. Just get some of that threat off the main scheme because we really, really need to. All right, draw four cards. He's going to get two threat. He's coming in for four plus something. Um, I think I gotta defend. So we take two. One encounter card is an armored suit for Rhino. All right. Well, that's a bummer. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna take two damage and draw two cards. All right, we do get the ability to take that threat down substantially, which is really important. Um, let's see here, yeah, so let's flip we will pay two for superhuman strength we will superhuman law division two off the main scheme we'll legal practice another two off the main scheme i think tigre will take take it down to zero we are drawing six cards so we get an extra encounter card here readying everything up, if I can never figure that out. Um, yeah, so he's going to get two threat, we'll object one of it, he's going to scheme for one plus zero, that's always good, and here's our two encounter cards. So first, Shadows of the Past, that is not ideal. Um, so out comes Titania, in goes all these horrible cards. And under fire, that's also not ideal. 
Um, so Rhino's going to heal four. And a master plan. Oh gosh, this thing's got eight threat on it. Oh yeah, we're doomed. <laughs> it was a fun run while it lasted. All right. Um, what are we going to do here? We got to kill him this turn. Or like very, very soon. What can we do? Nothing, really. Um, we could heal five. We can play a Hellcat. Flip, hit Titania for two. Do I want to set up the kill with She-Hulk first? We're not going to get the flip down again, so I don't think we need to. Um, let's get a counterattack out there. Maybe we can get rid of this and recover. We'll see. Um, I need to save as much uh, damage as I have here as possible. So we're going to have Hellcat remove two threat here because she can. Do I want anybody else to remove threat? Um... No, not at the moment, so we're going to sit and draw three cards. So he's going to get two threat here. That's real bad. He's going to come swinging for four, and I think we're going to take it for five and another boost card. That's kind of a problem. <laughs> so if this is a zero, we can get rid of his armored vest, and you'll pay for that five off of this scheme. But it, instead, it's it's like a nine, <laughs> and She-Hulk is dead. Ah, oh, brutal. All right, let's reset. That's game one. All right, She-Hulk's back, ready for some more action. Give our decks a good shuffle, and let's see what we can do. All right, all right. This is a lot of stuff that I don't need at the beginning of the game. And I'd rather fish for double resources really, really deep. We are going to keep that superhuman law division because we saw last game. We do need to flip quite a bit. Um, so what can we do here? We could pay one for superhuman law division, flip, and use split personality. That feels pretty good. Um, other than losing all these great cards from my deck. All right, let's do it. We're going to play Superhuman Law Division. We're going to flip and deal two to Rhino. And then we're going to pay three for a split personality to flip us and draw six. Um, we can now Superhuman Law Division to remove two threat from this scheme. Um, and I think what we'd like to do Let's pay three for a Tigra, have her finish that scheme off for us. Which again is really important to our She-Hulk strategy. I should have done an attack there in the middle. I'm gonna rewind time. We do have the temporal modular here after all. Um, Cause I'm obviously not gonna exhaust myself in alter ego form. When you do that flip and flip back to alter ego in the same turn, which is not the normal way to play split personality, use your activation in the middle. Don't be silly like me. All right, I'm gonna Pitch Gamma Slam, because that doesn't help me set up my board, and uh, away we go. So Rhino's going to get a threat. He's going to scheme for one plus an advance. That's a good thing to see this early in the game. And we get one encounter card, which is a master plan. So we are going to find a new side scheme. As deep as we have to go. There's all those minions we saw last game. There we go. With two threat on it. Good thing I like have a thing that lets me get rid of that. Oh, I have no uh, no mental resources. That's a bummer. Okay, well, life. All right, what are we gonna do? Oh, we wanted to. I object one of the. I think I already did. Okay. Let's flip a Rooney. Punch, punch. Let's um, get a counterattack out there. Let's. Wow. Wow, maybe I should have legal practiced because this is just horribleness. Um, let's swing for five. 
key girl swing for two. Just set it up so when we want to, we can flip it. Um, I'm gonna toss some stuff here that I don't need and draw three cards. That is more than three. Sorry about that. All right, he gets a threat. We did not get rid of time portal. That's a bummer. He's coming at us for three, four, five. Um, do we want to counterattack and just set him off? Don't see a compelling reason not to. Um, other than everything bad happens when he flips, but you know everything bad didn't happen last time, and we still lost. So we're gonna jump to phase two. It's stunned and confused, and we've got to get 16 more damage out of this cheap card deck. Um, 16 plus a tough. All right, well, there's a guard minion. And a Shadows of the Past again. Ugh. Titania coming out to ruin my day. Well, let's see how this goes. <laughs> um, what's on this crisis scheme? Four. That's a real big number for a crisis scheme for us right now. All right, let's play Spider Girl to stun and confuse Titania so we don't have to worry about her too much right away. We will kill, oh, well, we'll remove stunned. Well, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, um, Tigra, Teredi. And then we'll attack and kill this Hydra Mercenary and use Chase them down. That does allow us to remove two threat, so we'll get rid of this time portal, because we kind of need to. And what do we want to do? I think if we flip, he's going to go to... Yeah, let's flip. I think we can handle it for now. Um, Spider Girl thwart for one, because we got to... Got to get rid of some stuff. All right, let's draw six cards. We've got double one-two punches set up with a skilled strike and there's mightiest heroes. We might just end it this turn. He's going to get a threat. We're going to object. He is going to scheme for one. I think he's going to scheme for zero. And we've got another minion to deal with. Okay, well, let's see how it goes here. Um, I think we're going to go for the kill here. We're going to flip. Let's make sure we can do that first. It's going to be tight. We're going to flip, use our damage to hit tough off of him. There are no guard minions out, so we're going to swing for five at Rhino. Using a skilled strike, and we're going to pay for a one-two punch. Swing for another one-two-three at Rhino. Use a one-two punch. Swing for another one, two, three at Rhino. Looking pretty good. Spider Girl will hit him for two. And then we can Earth's Mightiest Heroes with Tigra to hit him for boom, boom, boom. Dead Rhino. So second play worked out pretty well. Next, I'll zoom in on the deck. We can talk about the deck, talk about the cost curve, and cool ways to play these low hand size heroes with low cost decks. All right, so here we have this She-Hulk low-cost deck. I'll pull up the cost curve here at the very end and talk about it. But we're just going to talk through the deck and some enhancements you could make or some tweaks you could make if you wanted to make this deck your own. So She-Hulk obviously has a hand size of four, which is her biggest limiting factor. If that was a five, She-Hulk would be a powerhouse. But there's a couple other things She-Hulk has that really throw a monkey wrench in this plan to have a low-cost curve deck. You can see here in She-Hulk Signature Kit, you've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards that cost two or more. In all the cards I included um, of my own volunteering into this deck, I only had four cards that cost two or more. So most of the expensive cards in this deck come in She-Hulk's kit herself. So there's not much you can do to overcome that other than keep the rest of your deck really cheap, which is what we tried to do. Hope you guys enjoyed these games. I really like this idea of using life as a resource, and I think that's what we're trying to do here with She-Hulk. We can take a bunch of damage, um, use counterattack to turn that damage into damage back at the villain. We can use you'll pay for that to turn that into thwarting, 
both of those seem super okay with me. Um, and we can even use our large attack skills as a moment of triumph to heal back up from that damage. So you can take large damage from counterattack, knowing you have a moment of triumph and a minion on the board. So if you skilled strike or you know superhuman strength into a minion, hopefully you can heal back to full. So you use that life as a resource, you replenish that resource, and everything's hunky-dory. Um, we do have one copy of Endurance in here just to get our life total up a little bit higher. I mean, if you're really living the dream, right, you eliminate a villain stage, which still counts as defeating an enemy, um, using a Gamma Slam, and then heal back up to full with that Gamma Slam that you just performed. I've only had that happen once, um, but it was pretty cool just to see it, see it occur. So there's a ton of things you can do with this new Moment of Triumph card, especially with these low hand size heroes. So we don't know yet for sure if Moment of Triumph works when you have an overkill attack, but that would be really good for Thor and Hulk. But even with Hulk, if you have that Hulk smash and you need to heal back to full health, you can use Moment of Triumph to turn that life into a resource. You can take as, soak as many attacks as you want from the villain, keeping your allies and other things alive. So one thing She-Hulk's kit does have going for her are these one-two punches. So we augment that with even more readying with these Earth's Mightiest Heroes. You saw in the, the turn we ended the game, I mean, we just blew through the villain pretty much in one turn using multiple one-two punches and then Earth's Mightiest Heroes. So we have three Avengers allies we've included. When Wasp's pack comes out, I'm hoping there'll be more cheap Avengers allies. You could consider swapping Valkyrie in here for Tigra. I put Tigra, or Tigra, however you say her name, because she has this self-healing ability. So I like the idea, since we want these allies on the board for Earth's Mightiest Heroes, for her to not go to my discard pile like a normal ally. I want her to stick around for a long time. Two copies that chase them down because they're cheap. Um, really just trying to keep that cost curve as low as we can. These are also mental resources. That wasn't something I took into like a huge consideration in my deck. Um, but when it came down at the end of the day, I had two cards left to fill. I chose to use Chase Them Down because of the mental. I mean, this is a very conditional um, threat removal. You need to have a minion in play. You probably want that minion in play anyway for Moment of Triumph, but that means you might not be able to chase them down because you need to save them to heal after your counterattack. What's really cool is if you get Superhuman Law Division down early like we did last time, these Chase Them Downs are just real cheap, efficient thwart skills, and I love that, so that's pretty cool. All right, so let's look at some cards you could use to enhance or change out this She-Hulk deck. All right, so first card from the new Ant-Man deck, Assess the Situation. I feel like this is the card for She-Hulk. So if you are trying to set up a wombo combo with She-Hulk with lots of readying or with, with anything really insane or crazy, or maybe you have, you know, a bunch of cards in hand and a split personality that you don't want to waste that extra card draw from your flip, Use Assess the Information, uh, Assess the Situation. It is crazy. So if you use Assess the Situation with Split Personality, let's say you are in She-Hulk form and you've got a double resource. I mean, I know this is Magic Christmas Land. A uh, Split Personality, something else, and an Assess the Situation. You can play Assess the Situation and then pay these three resources for split personality. When you flip to Alter Ego, you're now drawing to seven. Seven cards, and you get to flip back to hero form and use all those cards. That is a crazy combo. Assess the situation with split personality is just an amazing thing to see happen. It also helps set up all this like readying shenanigans that you're doing with this deck to try to get those multiple punches through the She-Hulk, or to like really fish for your combo pieces for this moment of triumph. So I think Assess the Situation, Pretty good card for She-Hulk. Again, a mental resource to help with this Superhuman Law Division to really try to push this we need to be able to thwart even though we don't have a ton of thwarting available to us in the aggression aspect. All right, next card, Honorary Avengers. So this is kind of a gimme card. Um, all your allies are already Avengers, but one annoying thing about Game of Slam, you have to have over, to, you can do a maximum of 15 damage from this, but you only got 15 health. So how do you sustain 15 damage? You use Endurance or Honorary Avenger. I think these this has a really good place in this deck. It lets you feel safer about taking a big counterattack or a big you'll pay for that. It gives you a higher ceiling to heal up to with Moment of Triumph. Um, there's no limit or cap on Moment of Triumph. So if you get a really giant attack in and you have multiples of these in your hand, you just heal up to full health, which is crazy. So Honorary Avenger, good for increasing the ceiling of your life, and that life in this deck is a resource. Final card, and I'm surprised I didn't put this one in. 
now that I see it's a mental resource. For some reason, I thought it was physical, but toe-to-toe. Toe-to-toe is a, the perfect card for this deck. Honestly, if I was to redo this, I would replace these two with toe-to-toe. Toe-to-toe can be like the perfect game ender in this deck. Um, and I'm honestly embarrassed that I didn't put it in now. So let's say you've got a counterattack on the board. You want the villain to attack you. You play toe-to-toe. The villain attacks you for eight. You counterattack back for eight. Boom. You also do five damage. That villain's dead. Like, Rhino can't even laugh at that. He just is destroyed. So toe-to-toe -to -toe definitely belongs in this deck. I'd probably recommend dropping these Chase Them Downs. Um, maybe dropping one you'll pay for that. Um, and the Hall of Heroes to get these toe-to-toes in. Pro probably that. I would probably drop these two and add two copies of toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Um, that actually decreases the cost curve even more in this already super, super cheap deck. So next, I'm going to pull up the Marvel CDB, and we can talk about the cost curve and some of the stats that are in the deck. And here's the Marvel CDB entry. So I haven't published this deck yet. I've still been putzing with it. Um, but you can see here it is. Pretty cool. There's a ton of events in this deck, which is something I'm not used to. I'm very event light usually. But with this deck, you really want to have a lot of these cheap events because those are the cheap cards that aggression affords to you. So you can see the cost curve is just dramatically cheap. You've got six cards that cost three plus. You've got 13 cards that cost two plus. And like we talked about before, nine of those cards are in She-Hulk's kit herself. So there's not much you can do about decreasing that number, but you can include a ton of zero and one cost cards. So now ideally, She-Hulk is gonna like one cost cards because you can play two one cost actions on She-Hulk's turn. But once you get a Focused Rage out or something like that, you can start saying, okay, well, I could play two one-two punches and the Nurse Mightiest Heroes if I had five cards or if I had this bonus card from, from someone's card draw. So those one-cost and zero-cost cards really do have a place in She-Hulk's deck. You could consider um, the Yarmbjorn package in this. You would drop something, probably probably not a Skilled Strike, but you'd drop something for Mean Swing and add Yarmbjorn in. I think that'll be more consistent when we get a second aggression or basic weapon to include in She-Hulk's deck. I really hate including cards to go off a one-card combo when I don't have a way to fish up that one card, especially in a low hand size hero. It's hard to get through your deck and find those things that you need. Um, but overall, pretty fun. Ton of physical resources, ton of mental, ton of uh, energy. So you're pretty good at spreading to be able to remove those villain attachments if you ever want to. This deck works in solo and in multiplayer. There's no um, big difference in one or the other. You're really just acting as an independent player in multiplayer where you're just trying to pump out damage and sustain life. So hopefully no one else has to heal you. You can just worry about yourself, do your third of the damage or your fourth of the damage and move on with your day. You also aren't depending a lot on other people to pass you card draw in multiplayer, which can be very beneficial because a lot of times a She-Hulk and Hulk and Thor player are constantly saying, hey, you got that Avengers Mansion, can I call for action and steal that? This She-Hulk deck doesn't necessarily need that. It can sustain itself with just the four card hand size that She-Hulk has. So pretty powerful, pretty cool to try to include a lot of cheap cards. Now, if you tried this with other hero combinations, you can get even more, um, an even lower cost curve, which is pretty crazy. Um, I looked at it with Ant-Man and a couple other heroes, and you can get it so like three-fourths of your deck is costing zero or one, which is just amazing. Like you can do three or four things every turn. You never have to worry about saying, oh, I can't afford to do these two actions. Which one am I going to choose? Because you've got such cheap cards in your deck that are super efficient. So hope you guys like this deck. Try it out. Try it with a different hero. Try some of these tweaks. Let me know how they go, and be sure to submit any deck lists. Um, you can put them in the comments here in YouTube. You can email them to us in the email address that's in the description here in the YouTube video. Or reach out in Discord. Always looking to try out other people's decks and see what I can learn about them and see how I can learn deck building that way. Thanks for tuning in.